Hey everybody, it's World Terrorist Cheerleader here again today for our next walk and talk. Uh, it was a good weekend. Uh, I held auditions for the show I'm directing and saw some amazingly talented people. Saw a couple diamonds in the rough and I sent out uh, casting notices to those I hope to work with and wait and hear back from a few of them. But it looks to be a promising group, and I'm really excited about it. Uh, so today's a good day. Weather's also beautiful, really cool, slight smell of rain in the air, nice breeze. You know, uh, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> uh, I don't like to complain anyway. But, you know, I know I've said it before, but ideas can come at the weirdest times from the weirdest places. Uh, case in point, uh, I love watching those cooking competition shows, you know, like Guy's Grocery Games, Chopped, Cut Through Kitchen, things like that. But one of the things that's always bothered me is, you know, especially like on Guy's Grocery Games, they're given these challenges of, you know, you can only shop for a certain weight limit, you only have these small bags to carry, you have a budget, or you can't shop from certain aisles. And that's all fine and dandy, but a lot of the times when these challenges are given, the competitors scoff and lament at the selection of items they're allowed to choose from, like they're beneath them. And that, that right there is what's always bothered me. Um... Because for a lot of people, you know, myself included, these aren't, you know, ingredients they can get away with. This is what we have to use. This is what we have to choose from because we're living with those tight budgets. And yeah, it may not be the prime ingredients we would choose, but it's what we have. And I just get the feeling watching these shows that... You know, they're being, the people are being, uh, these items, and therefore the people who have to use them are, are being looked down on because they're not the quality high-end ingredients that these people are used to using. And, and I don't think it's ever meant to be like that. I know they're supposed to be challenging these chefs and trained people how to, you know, stretch themselves and it's all supposed to be just for fun but I would really love to see one show one competition something like that where either you take those folks that are you know struggling on a budget and either give them full roam of a store or let them cook their normal meals for these judges the other side of that is let some of these people, you know, the ones that are affected by the budget issues or, you know, even uh, what's available to them in whatever grocery store they may be able to go to, let them pick out ingredients for, for their family meals and let's see these judges cook with them. You know, I... And, and I'm not faulting anyone or trying to badmouth anyone because, I mean, yeah, Guy Fieri gets a bad rap, but behind the scenes, he's probably one of the nicest people, one of the most generous people I've ever seen. I mean, just the stuff he does for the communities around him, the, the small restaurants that he features, and all the charitable work he does. He's an amazing person. I'm not faulting him. But I would just like to see some of these high-end chefs or some of these high-end judges face what, you know, myself and millions of, like me, that what we have to face. It would be really nice to give them some perspective. Because, yeah, a few of them may know what it's like to have those limitations but there are some that you know you can know you can tell they've never had 
to make ramen from the 50 cent packs. Uh, you can tell that they've, you know, never shopped, you know, off label, white label, things like that. You know, it'd just be really nice for them to get some perspective or for those folks, those moms, those dads, the, the, the people who don't have the unlimited resources that some of these chefs have to, sh to give them a chance to show what they can do and how they can turn $5 into a, a gourmet extravaganza for their family. Yeah, they're never going to be using lobster or filet or foie gras or truffles and things like that. But when you have to take a 50 cent package of ramen and make it taste palatable or stretch 10, 20 bucks to feed a family of four or five, you know, that, that's where some real kitchen magic can, be, can begin. Anyway, I know it's a minor thing and I know you know, it may not be a big deal to some, but it would just, I would really, I would, I would pay to see something like that. I mean, heck, I, I'd almost, I, I'd love to see it, try to put something together like that. You know, gather some friends, give them, you know, 20 bucks and tell them, okay, you have... 20 minutes to shop you have 30 minutes to prepare you know something like that uh, or get a basic shopping list from some of my friends and you know start from there I you know the idea is rough and raw but I think there's potential anyway that was what was on my mind today. Good mood, good place. Uh, just where my mind took me today. Anyway, I hope y'all are having a good day. Uh, hope you have a good week. If there's anything you want me to talk about, please let me know. As usual, like, share, subscribe, tell your friends. And uh, if there's anything you need, feel free to reach out. Thanks a lot, everybody. I appreciate you and I love you. Bye.